Jane, which is it? Weaker or stronger dollar policy in the U.S.? I think it probably depends on your perspective. I mean, certainly uh, the, the Treasury Secretary did cl clarify his comments uh, a few days later and said that over the long term, perhaps a stronger dollar, but maybe in the near term, he wasn't too bothered. And of course, the reason for that is that when you get a, into a low inflationary environment, well, it's, uh, it's perhaps uh, far less likely that you really want a strong currency because, of course, strong currencies uh, push downward pressure on inflation. And of course, that was the crux of the whole currency war thing that we were talking about so much just a few years ago. Go. But uh, I think this year there is a theme about inflation. Is inflation creeping higher? If we did see that, well, I think we'd have a lot more focus then on, on the need for stronger currencies. So, Jane, as you look forward to what the dollar is likely to do, strengthen or weaken, is it a matter of U.S. policy? I mean, what can U.S. really do as a matter of policy matter, no matter how much they talk it up or down? Or is it a matter of flight to safety and uh, safe haven currencies? Or is it just the underlying strength of the economy? What's going to determine the strength of the dollar? Well, I think all of those factors, and it's been quite interesting really over the last year or so that we have had, of course, at the Fed putting interest rates up. So interest rate differentials, if you like, have been uh, favoring the dollar, but the dollar has not responded. Now, uh, that, that doesn't necessarily, uh, that's not necessarily uncommon over short-term periods. Uh, interest rate differentials may not uh, uh, pull currencies in the right direction because, of course, there are these other factors, some of which you can mention. There can be political uncertainty, etc., a number of other factors. But I do think the dollar right now is at a very interesting point, potentially at a point of inflection, because if we do have, uh, uh, for instance, trade wars, uh, if we do have the market concerns that that's going to slow down global growth, uh, well, many of the emerging market currencies, the high-risk currencies, uh, commodities exporting currencies, well, they are likely to sink against the U.S. dollar. And in fact, if we look back uh, since the beginning of February, well, the dollar has been a, quite a well-performing uh, uh, currency. And I think what we mustn't do is just look at the dollar uh, through the perspective of, of euro dollar, because the euro over the last year or so has been pretty strong. It can hold up uh, relatively well, I think, against the dollar, but I do think that there is a lot of scope for the dollar to, to make gains against a whole host of other currencies out there. And